Oh, hey guys. What are you guys doing inside a case? <sighs> Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Welcome to another behind the scenes. Today I'm in a bit of a creative challenge because I am currently filming the review for the Thermaltake Core W200. It is the largest case that we've ever worked with. The whole thing is steel. It's incredibly heavy to pick up in this state. So imagine when I populate two systems into it, it's going to be very difficult to maneuver around my space. So I have uh, a plan. I need to uh, utilize my time in each space that I position the case in. So right now it's against the white wall so I can get my shots. And then I'm going to position the whole thing sort of in the middle of my room here with the background being the, the trees and the balcony there so that I can, uh, I can have full 360 degree space around the case. So I'm hoping it should be fun and I'm psyching myself up for it because I really want to make um, you guys proud with what we can do when it comes to things like that. However, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am a little bit worried uh, of publishing this video because of the hashtag thermal fake uh, bandwagon that's going on right now. And you know, I definitely want to encourage this discussion and the main review video, so I have to be uh, wording my, my conversation and my review notes carefully so that I can explain our situation from a reviewer's standpoint uh, carefully well that is inclusive of everybody's position, but um, that's gonna take some work in making sure that we are not bashing each camp, but also explaining our situation well. So as I'm filming the case behind me, a very good advice came from Brandon Lee from Linus Tech Tips. He said it's about accepting the compromise of the frame that you want based on your time frame and based on your studio space, aka balance out all the elements that goes into your production so that you can still deliver a visually pleasing image to your audience, but perhaps when you are um, stumble upon some challenges, go outside the box. Try not to fully recreate what you've done in the past as I have because this is the largest thing that I've ever filmed. So I'm trying to follow my mentality of how I normally shoot cases, but I have to get out of that mindset and accept the fact that it's going to be a very different shoot. Thanks, Brandon. Love you, man. I am very particular about my lines. So I try to level everything out so that the lines in the bottom match the lines at the top. But in this case, uh, maybe it's because it's so large and it's steel, it, there's some like minute curves in the steel, therefore I cannot fully match my horizontal lines at the bottom in terms of uh, video footage to the top ones when I'm panning. Even if my tripod is fully leveled and stuff, I'm thinking it's a combination of the case being slightly skewed and then also my table is uh, most likely not leveled perfectly. So uh, one walk around to that is shooting from the side and therefore I get sort of this type of uh, angle and you don't notice the, the skewed lines so much. And it's not me trying to hide the skew lines on the case, that's not, that's not at all. I'm just trying to create a good composition so I can show off the, the inside and very particular about my lines. So like if I'm panning up and the top line doesn't match the horizontal line at the bottom, I can't conclude that shot, it has to be perfect. Sometimes during the filming process, little packages arrive. I know what's inside of it. I'm super excited to share this on camera. Let's do this. I need to be very careful not to move the tripod legs because I still want to keep the same shot. Green. Oh my God. And so this was stuck in customs, but the seal isn't yet broken. I know Kyle from Austin Soft's network was passing through and they had to break the seal. This seal isn't broken. I'm gonna pause that music because there's a time and place when I listen to music is when I'm working out, when I'm cooking, when I need to relax, when I need to just jump around in the office to some crazy trance song that I found. But whenever I'm shooting video, I want to have my brain engaged in other than trying to come up with cool shots. So podcasts come into play. A fantastic podcast 
we'll be listening to today is... This is Hidden Brain, I'm Shankar Vedanta. Hidden Brain by NPR, fantastic show. This is not like a plug-in for them. It's just something that I uh, try to listen to whenever I'm working so that I can engage my mind because they have fantastic uh, conversations about politics, science, issues, everything that you can possibly imagine. Very interesting show so I can be engaged in here and also here when I'm trying to come up and compose my shots to be as creative as possible. While I'm shooting, while I'm working, I'm also learning. Another package has just arrived. Let's open it up. A gaming headset. Okay, so a little change of plans as to what I'm filming. No longer filming the case, which is right over there. I blocked off the windows because I want it to be very dark. I'm creating a very moody video for what's under there, which is the GTX 1080. And this is probably going to be the creepiest introduction that I've ever done because I am the uh, the actor inside of it, the creepy one, and I have a mask, I have a flashlight, I will incorporate like really quick motions in Premiere, and also playing with lighting to create a very moody atmosphere, and then some ambient like dark sounds in the background, plus reverbing everything that I record with the microphone with the GH4 right there, so it sounds like I'm in a like, big hall, like kind of rocky sound. So this should be fun, the day is turning out to be Completely crazy. I had no idea that this is what we'll be doing, but uh, spoken with Michael, we have this uh, nailed down. This is going to be really, hopefully, um, well received video. And a well received video it was. So this was the unboxing, very creepy vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check it out, the link in the description. But uh, this would be the conclusion of this vlog. Apologies for spanning it over a couple of days and doing sporadic things of like whipping this up in literally just a couple of hours while in the midst of shooting a case for you, the largest one we've ever done. So all the links will be in the description below if you haven't checked out our previous vlogs, and if you have any suggestions on what type of content you'd like to see from a vlog in the future, please let us know. All feedback counts, and I make sure to deliver. But I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.